Pueden hacerlos, Chucky.
khaki. Oh my god. Can you believe this place? Come here, look on the kitchen table. Surprise! Cake. <laughs> you won't believe this. Look, John Carlos spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, you gonna blow out the candles? Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. I know you always piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. I got a real problem, Jenny. Something happened today with my Uncle Polly, and it's a real bad situation. Polly? What kind of situation? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly downtown. Only the money wasn't there. And now Uncle Paulie's kind of pissed at me. I'm sure it's going to be okay. It's been like nine years since he took you home from the orphanage. Your Uncle Polly likes you, doesn't he? Jenny, baby, you don't get it. Uncle Paulie isn't a teddy bear. He's a fucking psychopath. And he's gonna kill me. Kill you? What are you talking about? What exactly do you do for your Uncle Paulie anyway? <sighs> um. I'm a contract killer. I, uh. Kill people for the Franchetti crime family. I meant to tell you. I just didn't know how, baby. What? Are you nuts? You are nuts. This is just like you, Jackie. There's something else wrong and you're hiding it with some kind of weird ass story you just made up. Hey, come on. It's your birthday and I've got a new apartment. Let's take one day off from fucked up. Your friend Butcher came by today. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. See rags of innocence. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. Watch some TV with me. Jackie, what is it? <laughs> Let's just sit here for a while, okay? Through the grapevine, you're at the Olive Grove. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It's a good thing your Aunt Sarah's out of town. The Olive Grove is right next to her apartment, and this has been one messy afternoon. Now you get yourself over here, but tread lightly. I've got my share of shit for tonight, okay? Hey, leave the goons to me. Now listen, Butch. Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. 
I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doya's alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. Make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? Untouchable in this business, it's Butcher Joyce. You put out a hit on some guy, Butcher flushes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. But what keeps him alive is that he never ever chooses a side. Yeah. Too bad there's a war coming. you coming from a block away, Jackie. Those expensive Italian shoes make you sound like a fucking bull elephant. Like a new generation. Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops all I need now, huh? Grab that body, would ya? People make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? Jeez. You know, they told me there was only one body to dispose of. Supposed to be one of those. Oh. Dealers from the alley. So what happens? Instead, some moron puts a bullet right between Jeff Elmett's eyes. Ah. What are you gonna do? Just drop it in the trunk. I'll take care of it. the hell I knew, Butch. I don't know. I guess Pauly thinks I'm gunning for his throne. Someone cold cocks me on a takedown at Dino's. Next thing I know, I got the 5th Italian Cavalry riding my ass. You know me, Jackie. I never choose sides. Whatever the problem is, it's... 
It's up to you and Polly to solve it. Well, if this gets out of hand, the Chicago families will intervene. When that happens, nobody wins. So you beat Polly's guys, and he's not a good loser. Now, I wouldn't put it past him to throw Eddie Schroeder on your ass. Cops. Fucking cops. Ugh. Listen, Butch, you know any more about why Pauly wants me dead? Well, you're the best contract guy they have. You're young and ambitious. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, now you listen to me, Jackie. Your only option is to take down Paulie before he takes you down. Put a big enough dent in his business, and the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this, but if you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Some holes in them. Dutch Oven Harry. No, never heard of him. <sighs> Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'll tell you. Harry is Paulie's biggest dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I'd take down Harry. I'd pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? You don't want to come walking up to their front door. So go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. There's a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. Hmm? Ah, fuck. This is Captain Edward Schroep, New York Police Department. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up and nobody gets her. Well, nobody anybody gives a shit about. We're gonna call him resisting arrest. Take him out, boys. You! Over there! Holy 
Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's.